begin at four with that breaking news. Providence police have arrested two men accused of shooting a seven year old girl last night. That child remains in critical condition at the hospital. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian and I'm Kayla Fish. She was a passenger in a car on Florence Street with another child and her father when she was hit. The two kids were in the back seat. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo just spoke with Providence police and Sheena police say they arrested the two suspects this morning. The shooting came in last night at about 740 p.m. and the two suspects were arrested by Providence police this morning at about 10 o'clock in the morning. So police really were able to make quick work here, only fueled by the tough details of this case. A seven year old little girl shot and police say it is very clear to them she was not the intended target of this case. Now the suspects have just been identified by Providence police as 19 year old Amari Cabrera and 26 year old Shaheem Nathaniel. They were both arrested at a home in Providence this morning, charged with felony assault and other weapons charges. Police say they have who they believe are responsible, but the why is not clear right now. Authorities say they believe there was some sort of interaction between the alleged shooters and the girl's father beforehand. We want to solve every shooting. Um, when you have a victim that age, it certainly takes on a different uh, effect on people where they really want to act quickly. Uh, officers had a job to do. Uh, they did it, and I'm just so proud of uh, the Providence Police for successfully bringing this to such a quick conclusion. And that seven year old girl remains in the hospital tonight, still in critical condition. Providence police say this really is still a very active investigation in the early stages. Those suspects will be in court sometime in the next few days. And Sheena, you mentioned that little girl is still in critical condition at the hospital. Do we know anything else about her? Providence police were able to tell us that her family is from Providence. She lives in Providence, but really that's about it. Her connection to Florence Street where that shooting took place is still unclear right now. All right, our Sheena Loshuto live for us in Providence. Sheena, thank you.